Hi guys, welcome back to another Baggins International video. You're with Baggins, and today we're doing something a bit different. We're going to do a bit of a car comparison test, because it's something I've been uh, wondering about. And we're going to be looking at a couple of sports cars that are of similar sort of speed and power. For the first of which is the Bullet, uh, which as you can see here is quite a mighty thing. 210 mile an hour top speed, 0 to 63.8 seconds, and plenty of horsepower there as well so we're going to have a look at the bullet i know people have pretty much written the bullet off as a car and we we'll take that as red but uh, just sort of comparing that as a supercar entry and this is a sports car so this is the coquette and again that has 202 mile an hour top speed 3.1 seconds 0 to 60 and 570 brake horsepower so loads of power and plenty of speed now it's interest, always interested me that those two classifications sit one in the sports car in the sense of the coquette, one in the supercar in the sense of the bullet, and uh, roughly similar price, give or take a couple of thousand pounds. So, third car in the mix is going to be the race car. Which one should we go for? I think think we're going to go for the Massacaro, and this doesn't have any necessarily declared figures as such in terms of power, but it does have a top speed there, 156, so that's significantly slower, and that's quite interesting. So, the Massacaro is um, the slowest on stats, so we'll head out, and I've brought the cars up here to the north onto Highway, I believe it's 66, but I could be entirely wrong there. Oh, no, Route 68. Uh, thank you very much. A road marking. So the first car, I just thought it was worth having a quick look around them before we go um, putting hell for leather and uh, ramming the shoe down, as it were, getting the, the brogue pressed to the uh, Axminster. So this is the bullet. Uh, everyone should be familiar with this car by now. It's a looker, but it's not a goer. And that's pretty universally accepted. All of the cars, just to note in this video, have been fully upgraded to maximum everything so if you imagine you went into um you know custom cars and said give me the lot this that's effectively what this is these have all got they've all got custom paint jobs as well and custom alloys and stamps etc etc so they're all lowered down uh, all on race suspension race transmission etc etc so there's no differentiator there as such obviously some limitations on the race car in terms of what you can do but that's you know, half of the point of spending a lot more money on the race car. It's a lovely evening as well. I brought them up here at night so as not to attract any attention, and it means we can take them a bit of a run around on uh, Route 68 as we like. So, it's a little bit of a first-person view to give you an idea of the detailing on this. Obviously, there's a fuel filler cap on the front fender there, or front wing. And round the back, you've got uh, quad exhaust two on either side, a little bit of an air intake on the rear valance there. Obviously, the engine is in the rear of this vehicle, so we're going to have a look on the inside of the door. Nice little bit of trim continuity. Nice drilled pedals there with uh, a rather pleasing steering wheel. And we've got some nice chrome-lipped BBS-inspired alloy wheels there. So let's hop inside have a quick look. Uh, for some reason, the key is always between my legs. I don't really understand that, but uh, if anyone has an answer to that, please do post in the comments below. And anyway, that's us up and running. The engine sounds very pleasing on the bullet. A little bit of a rev there. Ooh. 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 Anyway, enough of that. Uh, very pleasing. And uh, a little bit of a look on the outside. A couple of pops and bangs there from the bullet exhaust. So. That's a brief look round, we'll take it for a quick whip up the street so you can see it in action before we take it out on the racetrack. Uh, we're not going to do, I do too much, just to give you an idea of the vehicle so you can have a quick look round it on the road. Hopefully not spank it into uh, an AI vehicle, which would be a great shame. Moving swiftly on then, the bullet has been removed by the mechanic, as diligent as he is, as invisible as he now is, and the coquette has been delivered, which is excellent work. Uh, you join me as I hop into the side door, and for once I've actually managed to get straight into the driver's side, which is a rarity, as I tend to get in the wrong side or the right side, depending on which side of the ocean you are on. So, I'll just pull it over here under this convenient light so you guys can have a look at it. This particular coquette, again, is in 
fully modified condition, has got the rather snazzy body kit on that makes it look quite a lot like the Le Mans car. I imagine it's roughly inspired by that from a Rockstar perspective when they were putting it together. Uh, very pleasing, does look like a race car, it's even got a towing loop as you would find if you ditch your car into the gravel and uh, what uh, Marshall would latch his hook onto. Uh, it's got a rather nice pearlescent finish, again custom alloys, custom paint, custom wheels etc etc and just to give you a bit of a quick look round in first person view it's got a very pleasing carbon bonnet there, there's that uh, towing eye that I was referring to uh, just uh, on the front bumper uh, nice carbon frontage very pleasing setup and it all comes together very nicely now again the coquette has got mixed opinions it is incredibly twitchy but very very fast so that's what might make this little test review uh, quite interesting I thought very similar specification cars um, with uh, the race car thrown in which is obviously lower power but has got the benefit of being a race car lovely stitching on that seat almost uh, neon in this light again doesn't sound quite as beefy as the bullet a little bit more refined perhaps difficult to say and uh, we'll take it for a little drive off the forecourt here uh, do be careful of that randomly placed barrel I'm sure that is a lawsuit waiting to happen for that small business owner and we'll pull out onto the highway and again we'll just take it for a little bit of a drive so you guys can have a look at it in cinematic view it's also got a towing eye on the back there so it's got it's got one on the front one on the back both racing spec which is fantastic uh, unfortunately you can't the only thing that can naturally tow you with a hook on this particular game as far as I'm aware well you do do a bit of towing don't you in the, in the single rider then that actually applies in multiplayer but uh, on the online side of things the only thing is the helicopter and quite honestly you don't want to be lifting something of this ilk up in that uh, unless it's not yours and a friend has been very very frustrating with a flag and no names mentioned and so this is as I say the coquette just take it for a bit of a drive you can have a hear of it a listen a hear very poor English you can have a listen lot to it as it drives down the road and uh, and enjoy enjoy this one as it drives off into the sunset And so after another quick turnaround, you join me back here at the well-lit petrol station with the oil can obstacle. And my mechanic should have now delivered me the Mascaro race car, which is quite uh, exciting. Uh, a lot of tyres strewn around here, so we'll hop in. Once again, straight into the passenger side. It'll scooch over into the driver's seat. Uh, it catches me out every time. Now, those of you who bought the race car when they were introduced, a lot of people went for the Jester, which is a sort of four-wheel drive. I think it's based loosely on the new NSX. I'm sure people will correct me as and when they listen to this. But I went for this one, which is obviously based on one of the Aston Martin race cars, and is a very nice full roll cage in here, as you can see. Again, rather pleasing stitching on the seat, which is nice, nice interior finish. It's interesting they've left things like the radio in and the leather finish dash, but there we are. Um, stripped out most everything else. The towing eye is again on the back, same as on the coquette. And a lovely bit of advertising for rim paint and other uh, organisations. So this one... I think there's limited tuning that you can actually do on the race car, but whatever whatever there is, is has been done. It may be that the wheels have been tweaked and uh, and uh, oh, it's a lovely carbon fibre wing mirror shell there. If you didn't spot that, wind it back, have a quick shifty. Uh, anyway, so now we're going to get on to the interesting part. I'll, we're going to take this for a drive down the road, same as we've done with the other cars, all nice and fair. But the interesting part is coming up soon. So I now I'm going to take these vehicles out and we're going to do a three-way one lap shootout around the not quite 24 hours racetrack which is in this area of town and the racetrack itself is inspired by the mighty mighty um, Le Mans 24 hour track uh, and contains very very fast straights in terms of your max speed a couple of tricky chicanes which catch people out 
uh, and variously some transition of terrain from gravel onto tarmac. Now, obviously, that doesn't happen in the actual Le Mans 24 hours, as that would be uh, essentially lethal. But for the purposes of a Los Santos version, the corners that the dirt track facilitated were they were worth the 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 differentiator in the in the in the um, surface area. So. That's the next step. The cars will be taken out. They will be driven. They'll be driven for one lap, and it's um, a no reset situation. So, it does assess drivability as well as speed. So, any areas that are made, I'm accounting for under the umbrella of where well, laps that particular car. So, we'll jump over there very shortly, and I'll let you watch the racing action. I believe the running order is the bullet first, followed by the coquette and the race car. So. Do enjoy this. I'm not going to commentate over the whole race. I'm going to allow you to enjoy it and the noise, etc., and the excitement. And uh, I'll catch up with you at the end for the result.
Welcome back guys, I hope you enjoyed that racing and the results are on the screen there. So the bullet was 3 minutes 13.9, the coquette 3 th 16.2 and the mascaro was 3 6 12. So it really does pay to buy a race car. Don't forget to subscribe to Baggins International, we hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Baggins, good night. <laughs>